Hey everyone, welcome back to the Iraqi Dinar channel with your latest updates on the Dinar. Let's dive right in, starting off with some exciting community insights and news on the ground. First, let's clear up some confusion. Deleting the zeros has nothing to do with the exchange rate. It simply means removing currency notes with multiple zeros on them. This is a significant move aimed at simplifying the currency and making transactions easier for everyone involved. Intel Group Frank 26 posed an interesting question. If the rate is $3.22 and you go to the bank to exchange a 25,000 dinar note, how much will that be in American dollars? Well, that's $3.22 times 25,000, which equals $80,500. Imagine that. Pro tip, use the Dinar Guru Dinar calculator at the top of our page to easily calculate how much USD you can get for your dinar at different possible rates. Rayra98 was just informed by a three-letter source that if nothing changes, banks will see lights in the morning. Time will tell if this becomes reality. Marxy from PDK shared some intriguing thoughts. He says, I know of a lot of banks with meetings. Are they preparing for a banking crash? Are they preparing for a reevaluation? What are they preparing for? He thinks it's not a banking crash because they keep opening wealth management offices. To him, it makes more sense that they are preparing for a reevaluation. Now, let's turn to some economic news. Iraq is projected to have the fifth largest economy in the Arab world in 2024, according to CEO World, a leading business magazine. Iraq's GDP will be $259 billion in 2024. This is fantastic news for IQD investors. The Finance Committee in the Council of Representatives confirmed that the central bank has approved increasing the capital of the real estate bank to 500 billion IQD. This move aims to expand the coverage of citizens with housing loans and support investment in building housing complexes. In other news, the total sales of hard currency in U.S. dollars by the Central Bank of Iraq during the past six months amounted to more than $26 billion. This reflects a monthly rate of around $4.40 to $4.30 billion. Impressive figures indeed. These developments indicate that Iraq is on a positive trajectory. The approval of the increased capital for the real estate bank is a significant step towards improving the housing sector, which is crucial for economic stability and growth. The impressive sales figures of hard currency also highlight the strong demand and robust economic activity in the country. This optimistic outlook is further supported by Iraq's projected economic growth. Being the fifth largest economy in the Arab world by 2024 showcases the country's potential and the positive impact of recent reforms and investments. That's all for today, folks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Iraq is on the right track with these economic developments? Your insights could spark an important conversation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.